What up, what up, what up? This is your boy Mike and you're watching Mike Likes It. Hey, what's going on today guys? I am in the inner sunset right now. We're in what they call the avenues. This is uh, currently, we're on 11th Avenue and Lawton. I'm gonna turn right right here onto the avenue. Ooh, cool little car, cool little car. Roll down the right now. This is the neighborhood. This is like, uh, inner sunset right so this is kind of like in the middle of the city the park is right ahead of us you can you can barely see the golden gate bridge right on top oh look at one of these waymo cars there's no one inside ah, those are one of those self self-driving cars from waymo so they're, they're, it's like a google google backed project and they're probably soon taking over the streets, so get ready for them here in the United States. It's gonna be crazy. Anyways, like I said, this is just the neighborhood. There's not much here. There's a few uh, restaurants, a few little things that we can go check out. Let's make a left turn here. This is Judah Street. to uh, 12th Street right here. Let's see if we can turn here. This is what they call a slow street. So they put these uh, little signs up so people go slower in the neighborhoods around here. But a lot of people live here in this area. All right, all right, I see some stores right here. This is Irving Street. There's like a little sub store right there in the corner. Irving Subs. Let's make a right turn and see what's going on. Oh, this is where you can get your groceries and stuff. There's a restaurant right here. Ooh, Sang Tung right here. It's fire. It's, they're supposed to have some really good chicken. Chicken wings. Yeah. This is a... This like spot looks a little bit Asian so there's like a lot of Asian uh, influence in this area mainly predominantly Chinese but there's a little mix of uh, everybody here Korean Chinese Vietnamese all that yeah this is the inner sunset I'm sure there's a couple cool restaurants out here I don't know about Let's see, what do I know? Oh, Burmese Asian cuisine. That's always something uh, yummy. That's a different type of cuisine, man. Rarely ever eat that. Oh, but there, this is cool. This is uh, the Inner Sunset, 9th Avenue, and I think we're on uh, Irving Street still. Oh, it's pretty popping down here. We're gonna keep going, keep going. A little pizzeria. Tart of tart. Crossroads. Oh, a little bit of everything on this block. Oh, crepe vine. Crepe vine was uh, also invented here. We're gonna make a left turn right here. Yeah, Sunset's only uh, not that big, but mainly a lot of neighborhoods. This is like I said, where people mainly live and stuff. As you can see in front of us, that's the, uh, oh, what is it called? The Golden Gate Park. Oh, I can't make a, I gotta make a right. I'm forced to make a right here, guys. I'm gonna take you guys down Lincoln Street in a little bit here and get you guys from the inner sunset to possibly 19th Avenue. Let me see, let me see, how do I do this? We're gonna turn here on 5th Avenue. We're gonna cruise to make another right here on Hugo. little cherry blossoms huh cool 
make another right on six right here. Now we can make a left turn. Awesome, awesome. See, there's like a, here you have to go in like little squares to get to places where you want to go. Oh, another driverless car. Dang, taking my job out here. In front of us is Lincoln Street. Lincoln Street goes all the way, all the way to the beach. I don't know if we want to go all the way down there yet, but we're probably going to explore more like this inner sunset. Nah, we'll probably do the whole thing. We'll do inner sunset, outer sunset today. I got a little bit of time. Show you around my old hood. I actually used to live in the outer sunset all the way on 46 and Judah. That stuff, that was far. Super far. It, would, it used to take me like 30 minutes to get home every day, especially in traffic. And I used to work in like the downtown area. But yeah, this is, uh, we're still in the inner sunset. Very popular bar, the Shamrock. I pick people up there all the time. Also, it's much colder in the inner sun. pretty much the end of the inner sunset then it starts the outer sunset which is 19th avenue and beyond and it goes all the way up to i think 47th or maybe even 48th avenue i can't remember we're at 17th right here We'll, we'll come back. We'll come back this way after we uh, we get to the end of the. Uh, we'll go to 45th. I'm gonna show you all the way to 45th today. Now that bus is way. But yeah, the park goes all the way to the end. It's amazing. It's actually a rather large park that we're going to explore another time but yeah now you are at uh, 23rd Avenue and we're just going to keep going until we get to 45th Avenue and then we're going to see the beach for a little bit and then uh, we're going to head back This is pretty, uh, this is considered a pretty nice day in the sunset. It's only 11.30, so the sun hasn't fully came out yet, and uh, there's always like a little bit of, what is it called, like overcast, and uh, sometimes it's foggy in this area. But I've heard that uh, the last couple of years, the fog's kind of moved away because the sunset's gotten a little bit warmer. So that's really nice for the sunset because it's been uh, super cold over here the time that I lived over here, like maybe 10 years back. Take this. 
this straight to the beach. This is called Lincoln Avenue. Now we're on, look, uh, 34th Avenue. Look at that greenhouse on the corner. This place is nice. If you live like across the street or even a couple blocks in, you got this big park to yourself over here on the right hand side. I love the Golden Gate Park. It's one of my favorite places to hang out. There's so many places in the Golden Gate Park to hang out too. You can totally get lost in here. here give you a little beach view and then head back head back on maybe Judah Street or uh, one of these streets on the inside kind of show you what the neighborhood's like what kind of stores might be around here so I lived around here for maybe uh, two years and uh, yeah I liked it it was just like I said it was a little bit cold Nothing unusual from uh, San Francisco standards. You get, you guys see the beach? It's coming up. I believe in front of us, the beach is called Sunset Beach. All right, we're on 45th and Lincoln now. place is not too bad on the corner right here look at that what a view huh we're gonna get on to uh, should we get onto the great highway or no yeah maybe a little bit oh it's not called sunset beach it's called ocean beach uh, it's been a long time. Oh, they've opened the uh, this park, huh? Cool. We're gonna take a little bit of drive onto the uh, on the right hand side is basically the beach. This is like the Great Highway they call it. This this takes you all the way to the other end of the sunset, actually. This road is actually usually closed, but it is open today and it's looking pretty, uh, look at the clouds. It's supposed to rain today, so we're just catching, uh, catching it before the, before the rain. Look at the type of vegetation on the left hand and the right hand side. Total like succulent type of uh, plants. <laughs> Super cool. See how the Great Highway just takes you all the way to the other side of the, um, the sunset here. And then once you get on the freeway, you, there's no there's no turning back. <laughs> so you got to go all the way. But here I'll, I'll point it at the beach. Get a little beach view. Oh, the, the, the smell of the sea breeze is really nice too right now. So we're at Pacheco. Pacheco.
Uh, you guys hear the ocean waves? Mm. I gotta put on my hoodie real quick. <laughs> my ears are cold. Do you guys notice how it's a little bit foggier on this side? A little foggy, right? This is all still the sunset though. All of this right here. Everything in the avenues. Uh, <laughs> and it goes pretty far all the way till like this section right here. I think this is where the cutoff is to, uh, to the outer sunset. Uh, if we make a left right here, which we will, We're gonna take another way, another way. And we're gonna make a left right here. You guys can check this out. On the right hand side is the zoo. San Francisco Zoo and Garden. It's right here on the right hand side. Coolio, coolio, yep, this is 47th Avenue. We got new construction here on the left hand side. up there and make a left onto uh, this, uh, what is it called? I'll figure it out when I turn. I forget, I forget what it's called. But it's right up ahead. Vincente. So that's how you know these streets, okay? 
it's all avenues. This is all avenues, and then this is all like A, B, C, D, E, F, G type names. So, but it goes all the way up into like Judah and all that stuff, like how we were talking about earlier. You'll 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 see it as I start telling you the street names and stuff. It's pretty uh, it's pretty simple how they laid it out here in San Francisco. Construction's going on over here. Not construction, but uh, tree trimming and stuff. We're gonna go this way, and then we're gonna make a right on, uh, I think, Irvin Street again. I wanna show you the other part of the Asian market and stuff. More local neighborhood food and, and places. Let's go, let's go. Santiago. See Santiago Street. And then what are you gonna guess what the next street's gonna be called? Rivera. And it keeps going and it keeps going. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty far down because uh, earlier we went on the Great Highway and it took us pretty far. chilly for me out here. Once I show you this part, we'll be done for the day. Going around the sunsets like 20, 25 minutes. It's just because there's so many stops everywhere. And, and this is the neighborhood. This is like the backside. This is where you might like start off living if you just moved here and you, you know, you want to be a little bit cheaper than the, the downtown living, you know? This is where you would be. A lot of people fall into this area. And if you go to school, like a state or something like that, you're gonna end up in this side of town anyways. This is where you're gonna be at most most of the time. Let's see, we're not gonna turn on Judah, but we're gonna turn on Irving. Everyone's turning right now. Another secret way you can go that way to Lincoln. We're gonna go down to Irving. See what's down Irving Street today. Yeah, a lot of little neighborhood stores here. 
They're like local businesses. They might even use their house like this one right here. Basically gonna head into the the little Asian part of the area. A lot of Asian influence in the in this area, uh, specifically Chinese. And these neighborhoods are a lot uh, quieter than most other places. Yes, we need to go to uh, 19th Avenue. spots here looks like has some Asian noodles We've got a little bakery right here Asian bakery I think there's a couple on the street See, look at this guys this is uh, all in the this is the outer sunset it's busy right here huh this is where everyone does their shopping and goes along there's a lot of shops here Lots of uh, fun bakeries. There's something called Pineapple King up here. I love going to Pineapple King. That's probably one of my favorite places here on the block. Oh my goodness. So many people just walking all the time. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Lots of little Asian stores, beauty shops, Oh, there's a Thai place right here. Oh, another supermarket. Cool. Two supermarkets. If you can't find one at one place, you gotta go to the other. This one to pop too. Also a little fortune teller on the right hand side here. <laughs> Walk station. Oh, a little barbecue. Roast duck. Roast pork. Oh, dang. Oh, a little Vietnamese deli right here, too. Ugh. So this is 2nd and uh, 22nd and Market. Oh, another market. Dang. Tons of marketplaces right here. Uncle Benny's Donuts. It's cracking out here, guys. This is where you would go hang out, essentially. In the, in the outer sunset. Way. Mini pot stickers. Oh, that's new. That's new. A few new places, huh? Oh, looks good. Like little uh, Asian snacks, dude. Yeah? Little wraps. Kind of like pancakes and burritos. Asian burritos. I 
I truly haven't gone down this road for a long time. Mm -hmm. Another bank right here. Bank of America. Oh, there's something called Saigon Barbecue. That's new. I've never seen that before. Saigon Barbecue Noodle House. All right, all right. Vietnamese noodles. Here's a Gao Viet Kitchen on the left hand side. I heard that's really good. Here's the Pineapple King on the right hand side. That's really good. There's a couple little uh, Vietnamese noodle shops right up there. They're both pretty good. I think I like to eat at the uh, PPQ place. Pho Phu Wook. It's always busy over here. Something go always something going on. And that's it. That's mainly that's mainly the 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 outer sunset and we're about to head right back into the the uh, inner sunset just by crossing this road right here. And then once we cross this road, I'm gonna end this video. But if you somehow watch this video all the way to the end right now, please like and subscribe. You must have really liked this. So just do it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna end it here. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.